गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ वाई स्टेइंग एट योर होम्स लेट एस स्टार्ट टू डेज क्लास दिस इज क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर थ्री अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स लेक्चर नंबर फाइव एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट फोर चिल्ड्रन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दीज वेरी टॉपिक्स दैट इज एलिमिनेशन मैथड एंड द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन एलिमिनेशन मैथड In my previous lecture, I made you understand about the substitution method, which is one of the most important method to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables. Now, elimination is next to it. Let us start. What do you mean by elimination method? In this method, either of the two variables will be eliminated. How will we eliminate them, children? While making the numerical coefficients same, like other equation. so for the better clarity of the concept as well as the definition of elimination method let us switch to the questions the questions are from exercise 3.4 this is question number 1 third part solve the pair of linear equation by elimination method you will be having one pair of linear equation given this is 3x minus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0 and 9x Is equal to two y plus seven. So what is to be done? First of all, I am going to write both the linear equations in the generalized form. That is a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero. So what I have written three x minus five y minus four is equal to zero. Nine x minus two y minus seven is equal to zero. Now how to eliminate any of the variables? Children, just see here. The numerical coefficient of x in equation number one is three, but in another equation it is nine. So by what value should I multiply the complete equation so that here I can get the numerical coefficient of x as nine? So I am going to multiply equation number one by three, and of course equation number two will be multiplied by one only. Or there can be one more way also. Like here, if I am going to eliminate variable y. So for that, what is to be done? I can multiply equation number one by two and equation number two by five, so that in both I am going to get the same numerical coefficient. That would be minus ten. So what I am going to do? I am multiplying equation number one by three because I want to eliminate x, and equation number two by one. After that, I am going to subtract them. Just to see, understand, children. Three into three will become nine x. Minus three fives are fifteen. Y minus three fours are twelve is equal to zero. Second equation will be written as it is. Subtracting because in subtraction you know that the sign of the second expression will be changed. This will become minus. This is plus. This is plus. Both are going to be cancelled because plus nine x and minus nine x will become zero. Now after solving them, I have got minus thirteen y, and here I have got minus five is equal to zero. Minus thirteen y is equal to five, so it implies to y is equal to minus five by thirteen. Now children, we have calculated the value of one variable. What is to be done? This value will be put in any of the equation so that I can get the value of another variable. Now put the value y in equation number one. This was equation number one. Three x minus five y minus four is equal to zero. Three x minus five into in place of y, I have just written here minus five by thirteen minus four is equal to zero. So three x plus twenty five by thirteen minus four is equal to zero. Three x is equal to this four has gone on another side along with twenty five by thirteen. So twenty five by thirteen has come with minus sign. Taking thirteen as LCM, thirteen into four will become fifty-two minus twenty-five is equal to twenty-seven upon thirteen. Here it was three x. Three x is equal to twenty-seven upon thirteen. So x will be definitely three is multiplying here. Here it will be divided will become one upon three. Cancelling them, it has what I have got now that is nine upon thirteen. So these are the two values which I have got after. Solving a pair of linear equation using elimination method. Now let us take one more question from the same exercise. Question number one, fourth part. X upon two plus 
टू वाई अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट इन द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म दैट इज ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फॉर दैट वट आई हैव टू डू आई हैव टू टेक एलसीएम सिक्स विल बी द एलसीएम सो हेयर आई हैव गोट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सिक्स विल बी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय माइनस वन सो चिल्ड्रन आई हैव गोट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स दैट वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री इन द सेम मैनर आई एम सोल्विंग इक्वेशन नंबर टू एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस वाई अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री After take, taking three as LCM, I have got three x minus y is equal to three. So this three will be multiplied by three. I have got three x minus y is equal to nine. Now, just children, please focus on equation number three as well as on equation number four. Here you are not supposed to multiply any of the equation, either of both the equations, by any of the number. Reason behind because the numerical coefficient of x they are same in both the equation. I can just simply subtract both the equations so that three x and three x will be removed. They will be eliminated. So as the numerical coefficient of x are same, so what we have to do? We have to just simply subtract the equation. So children, here is the equation: three x plus four y is equal to minus six. Three x minus y is equal to nine. Subtracting definitely three x will be cancelled with the three x. 4y plus y will become 5y is equal to minus 6 minus 9 will become minus 15. So what is y? Y is equal to minus 3. Now I am just going to put the value of y in equation number three. This is equation number three. 3x plus 4y is equal to minus 6. Putting this value over here, 3x plus 4 into minus 3 is equal to minus 6. 3x minus 12 is equal to minus 6. So three x is equal to minus six plus twelve is equal to six. So what is the value of x? Definitely x will be two. So this was the solution of question number one, fourth part. And after solving, I have got x is equal to two and y is equal to minus three. Now, from the same exercise, children, I am going to switch to the word problems of linear equation. What you have to do? You have to just form. the linear equation first of all using the word problems and after that using elimination method you have to solve them let us switch to question number second first part related to word problems if we add 1 to the numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator a fraction reduces to 1 means the fraction is equal to 1 and if it becomes half means the fraction will become half if only one is added to the denominator means no change will occur in numerator then what will be the required fraction so as we are dealing with the fractions so definitely to assume two variables definitely one variable will be considered as the numerator and another will be considered as denominator so let the numerator be x and the denominator be y so what will be the required fraction x upon y now according to question what is said in the question that if in numerator one is added and from denominator one is subtracted then we are going to get fractions as one so what i have done i am adding one in numerator that is x plus 1 and one i am subtracting from denominator that is y minus 1 is equal to 1 after solving it i have got x minus y is equal to minus 2 this is equation number 1 now what else is asked that no change will occur in numerator means numerator will remain as it is that is x but in denominator 1 will be added so it will become y plus 1 then the fraction will be equal to half after cross multiplying children i have got 2x is equal to y plus 1 so 2x minus y is equal to 1 this is equation number 2 now how to solve both both the equations again you can see children Here in place of x, I can eliminate y. Reason behind because I am not going to multiply any of the equation by any of the numerical value. Because here the numerical coefficient of y is also minus one. Here also minus one in both the equation. So I am just going to subtract them. X minus y is equal to minus two. Two x minus y is equal to one. After subtracting, definitely the sign will be changed. This is minus. This is plus. This is minus. 
cancelling them. Minus 2x plus x you have got as x and minus 1 and minus 2 you have got as minus 3. Either you can multiply the complete expression by minus 1 or you can even cancel both minus sign also. So you have got x is equal to 3. Now put this value of x in equation number 1. Children this is equation number 1. x minus y is equal to minus 2. So 3 minus y is equal to minus 2. So minus y is equal to minus 2 minus 3. Right. So that will become minus 5. So what will be y? y will be 5 only. And the required fraction will become x upon y which is actually 3 upon 5. Understood children? Okay. Now everybody please get your maths homework. Today we have covered elimination method in which you will be having a pair of linear equation directly given means the simple question. And I have taken one word problem also. Fine. So your maths homework is do question number 1 first part as well as second part of exercise 3.4 using elimination method only reason here basically in this exercise first question with all four parts are given using both the methods but children yesterday i gave you first question first part as well as second part using substitution method now you have to adopt only elimination but question number one third as well as fourth both the parts will be done using both the method that is Elimination as well as substitution method. Now, we are going to discuss about the homework questions which were related to lecture number 4. So, homework solution of lecture number 4. Before I start it, children you may be knowing which method did we adopt in it. We adopted substitution method. So, I am going to take question number 3, part number 2. I am reading the statement. Everybody please be alert. This is from exercise 3.3 NCERT only. The larger of two supplementary angles means the angles are supplementary. Supplementary angles are those angles whose sum is 180 degree. The larger of both the out of those two supplementary angles definitely one will be the larger one. Exceed the smaller by 18 degree means the larger one is more by 18 degree than the smaller angle. Then you have to find both the angles. So what is to be done? Let two supplementary angles be x and y. Correct? So here x I am going to take as greater than y. Getting children? Now according to question, as both the angles are supplementary, so x plus y will be 180 degree. The larger angle means x. This is more by 18 degree than y. So what I have written, x is equal to y plus 18 degree. Correct? So from here I am going to get another equation that is x minus y is equal to 18 degree. As in the as the questions belong to the substitution method. So again I am making you revise substitution method. What was done in it? You are just going to calculate the value of y from equation number 2. Using substitution method find the value of y from equation number 2 and substitute it in equation number 1. So what I have got from here? I have got x minus 18 degree is equal to y. Now this value I am going to insert in equation number 1 which is actually x plus y is equal to 180 degree. x plus in place of y I am putting x minus 18 degree is equal to 180 degree. 2x minus 18 degree is equal to 180 degree. This 18 will go on right hand side will become total 198. 2x is equal to 198. So what would be x children? It will be 99 degree. Now, I am going to substitute the value of x in equation number 2. This is equation number 2, x minus y is equal to 18 degree. So, in place of x, I am going to put 99 degree. 99 degree minus y is equal to 18 degree. So, this 18 will come on another side, will become minus 18. So, 99 degree minus 18 degree is equal to y. So, what would be y? y will be 81 degree. So, thus the required angles will be 99 degree and 81 degree. Just to verify whether my question is correct or wrong, you can just add both the angles and will come to know that both the angles are supplementary. Means their sum is 180 degree. Now children, switch to next question. Before I start the solution, I am reading the question. Please be alert. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड थर्ड पार्ट एक्सरसाइज 3.3 यूजिंग सब्सटीट्यूशन मेथड द कोच ऑफ अ क्रिकेट टीम बायस सेवन बैट्स एंड सिक्स बॉल्स फॉर रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड लेटर शी बायस थ्री बैट्स एंड फाइव बॉल्स फॉर रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच बैट एंड ईच बॉल सो लेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बॉल बी रुपीज एक्स एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बैट बी रुपीज वाई According to question, how many bats have been purchased? Seven bats, so it will be seven y plus. How many balls are purchased? Six balls, so it will be six x. I am going to add both of them, so that must be equal to three thousand eight hundred. Now again, according to question, three bats. What will be the cost of three bats? Definitely three y plus five balls. The total cost is one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now calculate the value of x. I am going to calculate the value of x from equation number one. Children, it will be six x is equal to three thousand eight hundred minus seven y. So what would be x? X would be three thousand eight hundred minus seven y upon six. Correct. Now this value I am going to insert in equation number two. What is equation number two? 3y plus 7x is equal to 1750. Putting this value over here, so I have got 3y plus 5 into 3800 minus 7y upon 6 is equal to 1750. After taking LCM, I have got 18 a 18y plus this 5 will be multiplied by 3800. That would be 19000. Minus thirty five y is equal to one thousand seven hundred and fifty. While cross multiplying, children, I have got one thousand seven hundred and fifty into six will become ten thousand five hundred. So here, after solving eighteen y minus thirty five y on left hand side, I have got minus seventeen y plus nineteen thousand is equal to ten thousand five hundred. So minus seventeen y is equal to ten thousand five hundred. Minus nineteen thousand will become minus eight thousand five hundred. Both minus sign are are going to be cancelled. So what is the value of y? You have got children. You have got y is equal to five hundred. Now I am putting the value of y in equation number two. What was equation number two? It was three y plus five x is equal to seventeen fifty. So here I am putting the value three into five hundred at place of y. I am putting five hundred. Plus five x is equal to one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Three into five hundred will become fifteen hundred. In next step, plus five x is equal to one thousand seven hundred and fifty. So five x will be two fifty. How seventeen fifty minus fifteen hundred will become two fifty. So x will be fifty. So hence the cost of one bat, which was rupees y, has become rupees five hundred, and the cost of one bat is equal to rupees x, which was Which has which just we have calculated that is rupees fifty. Understood, children. Hope whatever doubts you will be having, they may have been resolved after understanding the homework solutions of the previous lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.